a prime suspect in the November Paris attacks, were found at the scene of a largely unsuccessful raid in Brussels on Tuesday. According to the Belgian public broadcaster RTBF, Abdel Sam is likely one of two individuals who escaped during the shootout that left one suspect dead and four police officers injured. Well, for more on this, we can cross now to our Brussels correspondent Maeve McMahon. Maeve, hello, thank you for being with us. Uh, what more can you tell us first about today's update regarding France's most wanted suspect, Salah Abdel Slam? Yeah, well, it's certainly a disconcerting um, update to come this Friday afternoon. I'm just at a busy metro station. I see the government is taking this very seriously. There's an increased military presence all over the metro here on the platform and the entry into the metro. The thing is, on Tuesday of this week at about 2.30, Belgian authorities, with the help of French, French, their French counterparts, went to an apartment in the Fauquet district on Rue Dries. They were carrying out a routine search. It was linked, of course, to the investigation into the Paris attacks that took place on the 13th of November. When they arrived, a Kalashnikov was greeted by them when a man tried to shoot at them, which left three people wounded at this stage. And on the very same day, two people fled from that scene. Now, this latest evidence on the fingerprints of Salah Abdazam having been found in that apartment would suggest that Salah Abdazam could have been one of the men who fled from the scene at that point. And what Belgian media is reporting this afternoon is that what could have happened is Salah um, Mohamed Belkaid, the 35-year-old Algerian man who, who died on Tuesday, stood out in front so he could give some time to Salah Abdazam to flee. Now, that's pure speculation at this point. We're, of course, waiting for clearer details. Charles Michel, the Prime Minister of Belgium, is in the EU uh, Turkey summit now as you speak, but he's had an emergency Security Council meeting as soon as that meeting comes to an end to discuss the situation and if um, Salah Abdeslam was linked to this Mohammed Bel Kaid for how long and for how long could Salah Abdeslam, if he was there, have been in Sokhe, um, a very residential district in Brussels with schools and creches and butchers and, and almost 55,000 people living there. And we now know more also, Maeve, about the man that was killed in the raid. We do. Um, Mohamed Belkaid is his name. He's a 35-year-old Algerian citizen. He was living illegally here in Belgium. Now, when you move to Belgium, you're supposed to register with the local authorities of your commune. The local authorities were not aware of his existence, of the fact that he was living in that residence. They know that he committed a petty crime back in 2014, but had no more information on him. Now, on Tuesday, in that residence where he was staying, they found an Islamic state flag, they found a book on Salafism and they found Kalashnikov, another very concerning item. The investigation, of course, is ongoing with all eyes to see what else will be the, will, will be the re more revelations that will come out of it. Maeve McMahon reporting there. Thank you very much for that update.